These three games all came out in the fucking same year, man. It's crazy. Skip your little lady. Oh, I came here already, huh? Wait, did I do this fucking temple? I think I did, didn't I? I thought I didn't for some reason. I thought we were about to do it. Oh, maybe maybe that's it. Yeah, because I don't have the boomerang. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Hello. And welcome back to I don't remember what we were doing in this game, chaps. I don't remember, chaps. The greatest of chaps. Yes, I had just begun this one. That is correct. I don't even know why I'm picking up half this shit, because I don't need it. You need that goo. No, I don't. I do not need the goo. Not at all. Alright. Um. Um. Well, no, I don't think I need to go down there yet. Wap! Man, I'd be fucking sick if I was barrel rolling out of the <laughs> fucking plant. You'd be fucking sick! Yeah, I'd be fucking sick! <laughs> what happened, right. Taylor? What happened what? What, ha what happened to, to the fucking oh, Nintendo? The rice fields? Motherfucker. Welcome to them. <laughs> Welcome to them. <laughs> Welcome to them. Um, Nintendo wanted money. And they wanted to continue you, to make money. When do you think their downfall started? In your opinion. Um, we? No, I honestly would say the GameCube. Yeah, you think the GameCube? Yes. Yeah, I could see that. <clears throat> like, there was a good half of the GameCube... Oh yeah, and then there was a bad half of the GameCube. Well, no, it's no, it's not yeah. even like so much that the, like, there was like a bad half. I mean, there was a bad half, I guess, but like the good half was just very small. Is yes. the problem, and to me, that's <clears throat> been the nature of literally every Nintendo console since the GameCube. Yeah, like the GameCube had small gems. Yes, and then the rest of it was nothing. Yeah, it was like a desolate wasteland of nothing, and I would argue the same thing with Wii. Like the Wii had some great games, and then once you play those games, that's it. And I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of game you're into, you know. Because I would argue the same thing is true with the Switch, but mm -hmm. some people obviously would would say otherwise. So I don't know. It depends on what you like, but for me personally, like, yeah, after, you know, you pick the couple of games that you want for, like, the Switch, like, that's it. Like, you don't want to get, like, every single other, you know, game that doesn't interest you. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to get fucking Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 6.7. No? No. You love the Budokai, though. I liked it when I was younger, but yeah. then, like, all those games kind of became the same thing. Yeah. That's a that's one thing. The gaming community overall seems far more stagnant now, but at the same time, also not. I don't know. I, I guess it just depends on what you're after. Is ultimately what it is. I don't know. That's. I'm just saying because there's so many remakes, remasters. Yeah. Right. Kind of stuff that. There we go. That, yeah, there you know, are a lot of those for sure. Which I do pref I do like that there are, you know, like remakes and stuff like that. Like, it depends uh, on the game, I guess. Yeah, because like, some know. of them I do like that they're being updated because they needed it, or yeah, it was a good game, and I wouldn't mind seeing it pretty. I want them to do that with like Snake Eater. Yeah, there's certain games where I'd be like, oh, that would be really nice. Um, but they haven't. The Shadow of the Colossus one was one that I kind of disapproved of at first, but then after you play it, you're like, yep, yep, uh, yes. I just, I don't approve the second time they did it. No, I know, but that's what I mean. Like, I felt that way at first, but then after I saw it and played it, I, I'm like, all right, I'm glad that they did it. But if they had never made it, I wouldn't have complained. Yeah. 
It's not it's not one that I necessarily wanted, but like when I played it, because I don't know if you've seen it, like actually being played. No. It's fucking fantastic. Like that is like how that game I think is meant to be experienced because the draw distance is so much better. The lighting, the physics, like everything about it. Doesn't it is, chug like ass. No, the whole like time. the frame rate is steady throughout the whole game, and it's just it's really really well done. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I I can agree with that though. That like you know, I don't know. The gaming landscape has kind of changed. Yeah, and not in the best. There's not ways. as much. Uh, I wouldn't say fun because there's lots of fun to be had. There's not as much experimentation with ideas that could fall. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Unless you want to go indie. I don't. The thing with indie games for me, it, and it's purely like my own fault. I think more than anything, like just because because well, games cost money, man. But like, and I'm not gonna, like, you know, I'm not saying I I pirate them or anything because I don't do that. But um, I mean it in the sense of like none of them are established like those series at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's hard to know like what is. A good game, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you gotta get good at just like kind of just trying shit out. Yeah, like I just saw. Ooh, I need that. Another game that I'm probably going to grab. That's an indie game, just because I like that kind of game. And sure, I've been disappointed many times by right uh, the certain games that I've played and paid for, but then I've also been really happy with some that. Are super cheap and I just really loved. Yeah, there's a few uh, for me that are like that, but I I haven't bought like many indie games like recently to try out. You know, because there's a few that seem good on paper, but then like you see gameplay and you're like, eh. Like if this were in the hands of like a more established studio, it might be better. Mm-hmm. Like, I hate to be that person, because indie games, I still think, like, can really be quite innovative and quite fun and interesting, but it's just hard to kind of... There's a lot of them that you kind of have to pick through, I think, before you find something that really hits for you. Yeah. Like, that's how I felt with, like, like Helldivers, for example. Like, that game is an indie game, and it's fucking great. It's just really well designed, and it's very well, like, thought out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'd like to see more games like that. I wish they made a sequel, because I would buy that up in a heartbeat. That's, like, one of the few games where, like, every expansion, like, I bought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was cool. It was fun. Yeah, we had a good time with that one. The The game that I've been playing the most is Phasmophobia. Yeah, I know that's a popular one. And that's, you know, just a straight-up bold indie game. Yep. If anything, I've probably I've picked. There's a couple of Steam games I've picked up, but I, have, I haven't been playing games on my computer a whole lot lately. I'm See, playing emulators. The, the computer console is the has the highest track record of good to bad games. I suppose you're right. <laughs> I suppose you're right in some sense. Actually, it probably has the lowest because it's also the most say, developed. For I was gonna it. say that's probably that's what I was thinking of. There's a lot of. Like really awful games that get fucking greenlit. Yeah, on Steam. there's just so many more good games that you can find on a on a computer than you could if you were trying to uh, find it on like a Xbox or a PlayStation. Yeah, and a lot of exclusives. The most exclusives. I've been seeing a lot. Yeah, I mean, well, actually speaking, yes, you're correct. Because because a lot like those indie games that come out, you know. Yeah. Many that will just never be ported. Yeah. Which is which makes sense, really. Yeah, because, you know, it either wouldn't work. Yeah. Or, you know, it's just like... Oh. Um, well, Trials of Midgard is another one I've been playing. I was going to say something. I forgot what it was now. It's a Diablo-esque. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm kind of just trying to get through this part as quickly as I can because it's. I see, but you're not doing the speedrunning strat. Personally, you have to say speedrun when oh, speed when run. you do it. Speedrun. Speed yeah, run. just on, like under your breath. Yeah, there you go. 
like a little more audio audible so everyone knows that you're speed running. Speed run. <laughs> but just, you know, just quiet enough that they don't know that like you're saying it too much. <laughs> That's the speed run strat if you say it a lot. Hey. Oh, golden feather, it's a spoiled bag. I mean, it's in Quill, a beautiful shining golden feather, wing girls. Ooh, would you fuck a wing girl? I don't know, maybe. Billy, I've been watching. Uh, did I, did Wing I tell girl you? Porn. No, did I tell you I've been watching Ink Master, Stink Master? No. Do you know what no, that is? Yes, I do. I have watched it myself. Do you like it? Uh, it's okay. Like it's kind of get like got the qualities of like a hokey reality show, but yeah, like it's but it's I got like art it. in it. And I, I like, like I like that shit. Yeah. I've been I've been digging on it. I found a a site that like hosts it. Now I watch. I've been watching it. You gonna get a tattoo now? No. No? I don't like... Like, I have nothing that I want to get permanently tattooed on my body. But I just think that the show is cool. I think that the... Um, the art is cool. The format of the show is interesting because they always... Like, they seem to present, like, um, cool new challenges all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I th- I, there's a lot of things I like about it. And Dave Navarro's on it, and I like Dave Navarro. I think he's a cool guy. What's he do? I know he's I know uh, the name. guitar. He's the guitar player for Jane's Addiction. Oh, okay. But he was also in the Red Hot Chili Peppers, like, like for one album back in like the nineties. Okay. Um, he's just a cool guy, man. I think he's cool. And why uh, is Link doing that? Because he's celebrating. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I like Dave Navarro. I think he's he's a neat guy. And it's funny because he's a judge on the show. And the only qualifications that he has as a tattoo, like, critic is that he has them. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, because he has <laughs> fucking tattoos. Like, he's, like, he doesn't tattoo himself. For some reason, I thought that he did, but I think it's just because of the fact that he's affiliated with the Ink Master show. Yeah, that um, you'd think that he would. Yeah, but, nope, he just has them. Which is fine. I think he's a good host for the show, so... And they obviously, it's been a pretty successful show because they've gotten, I think, 13 seasons of it or something. Yeah. So. I've seen some clips of like, you didn't like your tattoo. So we brought you here today to get a new tattoo. But secretly, we actually have the guy who fucked up your tattoo here. Yeah. Uh, yep. Are you yep. going to let this, this piece of shit touch your tattoo again? And then the person's like, well, I don't know. He really fucked up my tattoo. But I, I might give him a shot if he's nice to me. And then the person's like, fuck you, bitch. But I'm sorry that I was like that. And then they're like, well, I don't trust you. Could you just tell me to fuck off? <laughs> but fuck you, bitch. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. And then... Oh yeah, and then uh, and then it, you know they're like, okay, well I'll we have to make a show here, so I guess I'll try. And right. then and then the person is like, is this what is this what you like? I mean, I sorry, the person's like, okay, thank you for letting me try to redeem myself. And then the person's like, well, yeah, we, you know, we, we'll see how it goes. And then they put up a thing, and they're like, I want a donkey licking its own asshole on my chest. And then the person's just like, okay, and they draws like this cartoonish donkey with a, like a goatee, and it's licking its own asshole. And the person's like, no, I don't like it because you have a goatee on it. I really feel like the goatee is going to really bring this piece together. If you don't have the goatee, it's going to make it look like he, he's not licking his ass. And then the person's like, no, I won't do it. And then... And then Dave Navarro comes in and is like, well, I do agree with the artist, and, you know, you do, you, you don't have to, but I think you should. Blah, blah. And they're like, oh, okay, I'll let, him, I'll let him put the goatee on the donkey that's licking its own ass. And yeah. And then they get the tattoo, and they're like, yeah, this is really great. I, li- I like it. You know, that goatee really does make it look good. And then the, the, the fucking artist is like, thank you for letting me... Fix up your tattoo. I am so sorry. I'm not and sure you and I watched. The same, I'm not sure you and I watched the same show. I don't. 
I'm 100% sure it was. <laughs> I remember Dave Navarro yeah. and the donkey <laughs> asshole licking. I remember that. Yeah, like it's all, it all makes 100% perfect sense. Right. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> At some at one point, I'm just like, all right, uh, Billy's doing a thing. I'm gonna let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, whatever. <laughs> There's no fighting me on it, so no. Just, just let it you happen. You know, you know what you watch. <laughs> <laughs> and it's basically that, just you know, with think, less donkey licking and I think, like, asshole licking stuff. I think there is actually like a tattoo cover up show. Well, it has Dave Navarro. The, the episode I am referencing is this uh, this guy who had gotten a tattoo on his arm, and he had brought his wife, and she was very pissy the whole time. Yeah. And he wanted to get a Capricorn with like a a fucking um, one of these. It was a ram with a, like a tail, but he, the artist drew it with like a mermaid tail, and she's like no I don't like the tail blah 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 and then the guy's like oh well it might not be bad and she's like well this guy fucked you last time don't don't make me fuck you fucking him and then and then Dave Navarro does, said it does look weird but then at the same time it does look like it finishes and then the guy's like I, I think we should do the tattoo with the mermaid tail and and then she's like, well, it's your body, I guess, but I think it's dumb. The, the last episode I watched, um, yeah, that sort of stuff does happen. There, there's a couple of challenges where they like they do the flash challenges, which is like if they win that, they get to choose like the canvases for like the elimination tattoo and shit. Okay. Um, so there also, was... I don't like that they just call them canvases. They're people too, Taylor. I know they're people, but that's what they call them on yeah, the show. Yeah, well, I so. don't, I don't like it. So well, I'm just voicing my opinion. Then write them a letter. Write them a strongly worded letter. I will say, people... say you know the episode where the <laughs> one person wanted the fucking <laughs> the donkey, go, the, go, the, the, the donkey, the donkey, the goatee. The goatee. <laughs> like you remember that episode? Well, you called them canvas. I mean, you called them canvases in every episode. Yeah, you know, that one in particular. I do think. Was like really like offensive because the donkey is actually called an ass. <laughs> so it should have been an ass. It should have been an ass licking, licking his an own ass. ass. <laughs> Don- <laughs> ass licking his own asshole. <laughs> you, you, you send him a complaint video on VHS, and that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, we have weird fans. Throw this in the fucking garbage. What is it? <laughs> Now we should get this guy on. <laughs> and you see Hi. me. No, then like yeah, season fourteen comes out, and you're like, <laughs> they're like, we have a special wild card contestant, and he is William Walter, and he has literally no experience. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, yeah, you're front on, and you're like, they do that little hot seat interview that they do, and you're just like. Hi, um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, I have never touched a uh, tattoo needle in my life. Yeah, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to fuck this up. I can barely draw anything on a piece of paper, <laughs> let alone somebody's arm or body. Yeah, like, whoever, whoever decides that they want to get a tattoo from me, one, I will say don't. <laughs> can I Two. just get eliminated from the competition right now? Yeah. I just want to go home. <laughs> can I draw, like, a smiley face on and then, like, you can be like, that's trash, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, I can go home. How much money do I get here? You get $100,000. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth it. I don't care. That's how much you're going to be paying in legal fees. <laughs> but no, the last, the last episode that I watched, um, after season one, so in season two and season three, um... What they did is like they they started um, implementing like like a U.S. V- votes for their favorite tattoo and shit like that. They kind of got more of like a because season one is just the judges like making decisions. Like there's no external factor of any kind. But then in season two, yeah, they introduced the the idea that America can vote for their favorite tattoo and their decision uh, impacts who gets eliminated and shit. Um, but then in season two, <clears throat> they started doing live finales and all that shit, which I kind of don't like. 
um, at least in, in watching it in the nature that I do where I'm just kind of like binge watching it, you know? Yeah. But um, on uh, season two, on the live finale, they introduced like the prospect of um, you can vote online <laughs> for one of the contestants that got eliminated throughout the this, this season. And bring them back. To bring them back for season the next season. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, that's so it's what, just who who was the one that you liked because you thought they were cute or like yeah right you thought that they were cool yeah or which one did you think was just enough of an ass to yeah so pump but your anyway jollies? but anyway I'm only on season four so I've only seen two people get brought back so far okay and um, in season four they brought back this one guy who um, during the filming of season three. His house went into foreclosure, and he lost, like, all of his, like, belongings and shit. Nice. Um, so I think he had kind of a compassionate kind of angle. Yeah, he had the people... compassionate backstory. So, so he got voted to come back for season four. And, you know, I honestly don't think that he deserved to go the distance. Like, I think that he wasn't, like, really up to snuff compared to a lot of the other artists in season So they three. probably just... But, you know, it's well, it's an America Votes thing. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. I was gonna say, did he actually win? Because uh, no, well, okay, that's what okay. I'm getting at. He no, he because if you make it to the finals, like the final three, um, you're not eligible to be voted back on. Oh, okay. So if you make it to the final three, like you're done. Like even if you come in, if you come in second or third, doesn't matter. Like you can't come back. Okay. Um, so if you get eliminated before that, then you're eligible to be voted back on. But anyway, like he gets voted back on. And I'm watching season four, and then in season four, like, you know, he's kind of like a hothead, you know, kind of guy. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. he's, I don't know. He's rough around the edges. He's rough around the edges. And at one point, like, one of the judges, like, he he wasn't even in front of them when when the judges said it. But he's like, you know, um, they're critiquing these other people, and and then one of them's like, you know, tell Kyle that he's one of the people that deserves to be down here, like, potentially getting voted off. And then they go back into the... Oh, shit! <laughs> they go back uh, to, like, the clubhouse or whatever, and they tell him that. And then he's like, what the fuck? These judges have been riding me the whole time, be, 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 you know? And then in the next, like, they go to the next, like, location for, like, the challenge. And then, like, before Dave Navarro, like, or, like I think he starts talking, like, about the challenge or whatever. And then the Kyle guy is just like... You call me insane? You call me a bitch? And then he's talking to the fucking judge. And then he fucking rushes him. Like, he's about to fucking beat him up. <laughs> and then, like, you know, I, I wonder, like, how much of that is staged. Because it's, like, you know... Yeah, because they're like, not going to actually let him. Obviously, they're not going to let him. But then, you know, they get taken off set and all that sort of thing and whatever. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> They come back to do the Flash Challenge, and then all the other contestants are like, where's Kyle at? And then Dave's like, he's not coming back. Like, he's done. <laughs> and it's like, dude, you didn't even get kicked off the show. You fucking threw yourself out because you tried to pick a fight with the judges, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. It's like, your I house mean... is in foreclosure, you asshole. Like, this is your fucking <laughs> ticket to fix your financial problem, and you just threw it out the window like a moron. Yeah, he was probably uh, asked, because he was a hothead, too, be an asshole like that and yeah that's what i'm saying like parts of that show feel relatively genuine and then other parts don't so it's like i don't know it's like it's a mix between the two i i remember i initially wanted to watch it because i thought it looked dumb (laughs) yeah (laughs) but then i ended up really liking it um because they have all that like classic editing where they have those stupid music stings that come in like you know where it's like a you know, like a creaking, like yeah, the fucking or, the know? generic. Yeah, they do that constantly. They do that at least like forty times an episode. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Did he really just say that? Yeah, and then and now in season four they've added in all these like voting things. They're like, should Kyle have attacked the judge? Fifty percent of you said yes, like with that type of shit. You know, fifty percent of you said he should have ground their bones into dust, made them into loaves of bread. Yeah. Like, they, they start doing that shit, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of dumb, but yeah. okay. <laughs> like, I get it. Cause so, like, overall, no. Taylor, I do not like the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just to answer your question from earlier. Oh, God. Why not? Getting a spear shoved into your face. Oh, like you that, don't but... like fucking drama? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even, like, there's not that much... I mean, there's drama in it, but it doesn't focus on it that much, which I like. I don't mind that. 
Most like, of it's, you know, they fucking... That would totally cut you. In well, here. they're talking... Yeah, like, it's them shit-talking each other. Yeah, it's but- them shit-talking each other, and then it's the mm-hmm. montages of them all... Yeah, doing that to fucking rock music. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of rock incidental music on there. So I wonder if Dave Navarro did it, or if it's like, <laughs> or if he like you know just got one of his buddies to do it because yeah. yeah, it's like a bunch of butt rock. Like yeah, I was time, gonna say you know? it's fucking butt rock, and yeah. it's just there because it totally is. Like it's all butt rock, all of it. But then they get sponsored by, like, it was on Spike TV, I guess, and, like, Taco Bell was a sponsor for, I think, season two or three, so it's like, yeah, like, they know their audience. Yeah. You know, they know, they know who's It's who's the gonna people who it. have tattoos. Yeah, it's the Chads and Kyles of the world they are going to be watching it. I'm surprised Monster Energy Drink is not going to be one of them. I'm sure in one of the seasons it is. I'm sure it is. We got Monster Energy Drink... And then the fucking Kyle's like, I love Monster! I oh, love fuck tattoos! Yeah. Tell me we get to tattoo the logo on somebody's ass. <laughs> Kyle, what's what's your deal with the ass, man? Uh, I mean, you know, like... My pastor touched me in the ass! <laughs> Your pastor <laughs> touched you in the ass. I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. No. Oh, maybe I am. I gotta do this. I forgot to do that. There we go. But I like I like it. Like I'll fucking you know sit and watch it for a few episodes or whatever, and then just it's usually before I go to work or something. Yeah, you know who likes it? Mm-hmm. The reason why I knew about it at all. And no, hell no. <laughs> my uh, my should I get these chests? I don't really want to fucking get them. My father's girlfriend from Jersey. Oh yeah, <laughs> that I'm like seems about right. Yeah, that's that's that tells me exactly. Yeah. Let's get the demographic. Let's get these fucking chests. Why not? You know, it's just gonna be like bullshit. Well, sometimes you get treasure charts though, and those can come in handy later. Eh, fuck it. Let's just go. I don't really, really want to get them. Don't forget to blow. I'm not doing completion completionist. I'm only doing speed run. Okay. Good. That's how I like to play my games, fast and loose like my anus. It is fun though on the show, um, the tattoo artists get fucking tore apart by the judges, so it is kind of fun to see that. Cause then all of a sudden, like, as you're watching it, like you yourself become like a fucking like tattoo critic, yeah, and you're like, <laughs> like tattoo is very dera- derivative. He's got of, really uh, Van shaky. He got really shaky line work, you know. And the contrast, the use of contrast, just isn't there. Sorry, excuse me, Kyle. Did you just <laughs> shit in front of the judges? <laughs> but that's you what. You want to fucking find? You want to fucking find? So what if I shit? All right, I shit on your fucking nose. I'm really thinking that the shading is too dark, so you, that you can't really get all the details in there. This is far too deep, like too detailed. You're not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> Today, artists, we decided to challenge your use of contrast by having you tattoo turds. <laughs> and then everybody's like, "Oh man." <laughs> Let's meet your canvases, and then everybody just comes and they're all fucking grimy and gross. <laughs> you're gonna ta- have to clean the skin really well. You're gonna have to tattoo through the dirt and dried feces to tattoo your turds. <laughs> I like and that Kyle's sound like, effect that, that just happened yeah. here. The, <laughs> I want that to be <laughs> instead of the stinger. That yeah, it's fucking. <laughs> And then Kyle's like, yes, I love asses. <laughs> this is what I've been bred for. Finally, a challenge I think I can win. <laughs> it should it should totally be down. You shouldn't have to get all these fucking umbilical cord motherfuckers. I know. Like, there's the one. one. That would have been fucking down. Go wreck its ass. I know there's a way that you can kill this thing in one thing. No. You uh you have to have a bottle of water and you pour it. Oh on it. yeah, you're right. 
You're absolutely right. I forgot about that. Oh, do I even have a bottle? Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah, but you got a fairy in it. Cause you're not do you need the, like the Deku magic water? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think you're right. I forgot about that. Whatever, this boss isn't hard. None of the bosses in this game are hard. All you gotta do is hit the good old giant glowing fuck me buttons. <laughs> it's like every boss in video game history has ever had. You could have totally hit it one more time. No, if you if you bite off just a little bit more than you can chew, you get fucking caught in there. Like every time. Remember when video games were hard, Taylor? How the fuck did that happen? Well, you got lucky as fuck. Some of them are still hard. Sekiro's hard. Remember when Nintendo video games were harder? No. Not really. Back in the back in the old days. Nintendo. I did this whole fucking dungeon in one episode. Nice. <laughs> I regaled you with uh, the story of the tattoo. Um, and then we talked more about it. And then... Yeah. I'm a... I know, like, before I said I was going to fucking get every single square in this game, and like, you know, on the map done, mm -hmm. and I, st I, I think I'm still going to do that for this playthrough. However, I'm going to try and continue the story mode, or, like, the story a little bit, um, just to get more items that will help us uh, do those islands. Okay. Because there's certain That's kind of that, what I thought you were going to do. I didn't what think you were going to just go straight for it. No, right when, I, when you could. When I played it on my own time, I just fucking did all the squares just to get them done. But I think... Because uh, you can do some of them on the way, but the shit I'm going to... Um, because like, I remember there was a part, a part in my, my solo playthrough where I just got the bombs. And then I immediately got the bomb bags. So I had like 99 bombs like right out the gate. <laughs> so I didn't have to worry about it. But this time, yeah, I'm gonna like I'm gonna sail to my destination and get the islands along the way. But I'm just gonna, you know, make some progress first, and then we'll go back and clear them out. Oh, Ooh. well, what's oh my god, I'm gonna fucking oh, drop my seed, right? So, uh, Billy, why aren't you gonna get a fucking tattoo? Whatever happened to that? I didn't feel like one paying for the money to do it. Uh -huh. Two, uh, I never found like to do any of the research to find an actual artist that could make it for me. Uh -huh. And three, I never like. <sighs> I never finalized on any design that I wanted. Yeah. Like, I had some thoughts. You were going to do the thief symbol? Yeah. It was going to be all three of the thief symbols. Wow. Which would have been uh, the keeper's eye, the uh, hammerite's uh, hammer, and uh, the pagan's fucking leaf thingy. Mm. And uh, that's what I would have done. It would have been sort of been green, red, and blue. Go well, figure. Yeah. Because everything is that. Uh... <laughs> yeah. What colors are the pearls that we have to collect? Uh, purple, yellow, and cyan, <laughs> and orange. I guess I guess the one pearl is kind of orange. You could make that argument, yeah. but it's still red, green, blue. Yeah, everything's red, green, blue. So it's just you know RGB, dog. Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. It's very, very true. Next time on Shellstrap Chops, we get inked, and it stinks. Yeah. <laughs>